Well, now let's look at the second part of uh, Lesson 7A, Part 2. We'll see. This is called using the Pattern Stamp tool. And so what we're going to do is you'll notice in the upper part of this picture there's a wave up above and just the, the end of a boat going by that caused that wave to go by. Now, we could use the Clone Stamp tool, but for various reasons you'll want to learn all the tools in here. And so this one we're going to go to the Pattern Stamp tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to select an area of good water and make a permanent pattern out of that so we could reuse that over and over and over again. And so to do that, uh, all you have to do is come up to, uh, I'm going to suggest using the, the marquee tool up here. Uh, it's the rectangle, but you could use any of these selections, but I'm going to use the dot 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 square one. Once I select that, I'm going to find an area of good clean water, and I'm going to mark a little rectangle area around there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up, end up taking this area and making a permanent sample out of that. And then using this later on, I'll, I'll block out the view of that water. But again, in this way, I could use this on different photos as well. So to get this to happen, I go up to the word filter up at the top of the screen, click filter, and drop down. And on my version, about the fifth one down says pattern maker. You should get this screen. And you'll notice the dot 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 box is the selected area. And what we're going to do is we're going to click use image size in this little area right here. And then after we do that, we'll uh, click generate. When it generates, you notice in this tile history area, this this uh, sample shows up, and that's what we want to use as our sample for later on. Now, as you move down, this little tiny disk says uh, save preset patterns. If you click on this, this is, allows you to name your your uh, pattern. Uh, default is pattern one, but I'm going to name this water, and then I'm going to say OK. And so now this, when I return back to the main screen in Photoshop, will be called water, and I'll be a water, and I will be able to use it. Here's a funny part, though. To get out of here, you do not hit the OK button, as you would think. Instead, you hit the Cancel button. If you click the OK instead of Cancel, the Pattern Maker dialog box would replace the entire boat scene, and we don't really want that to happen. So, strange as it might seem, you're going to hit the Cancel button. Now, when we get back, you'll notice the dot, dot, dot still is functioning. And I'm going to suggest going Control D to deselect, or go to this, the word select and then deselect. You'll see it says Control D for the shortcut to turn that off. So at this point, let's see if we can actually apply this pattern. Now to find the clone stamp tool, it is the same button as the uh, or the pattern stamp we're looking for. It's the same button as the clone stamp, but when you hold it down, you'll see there's two choices. Go to pattern stamp, click on it. Now, when you go up here, you, you may later have to come up and adjust your brush sizes, uh, but you'll get the, the hang of this. Make sure opacity is 100, flow 100, and you'll see up here there's a little box that says Pattern. So when I click on this, I see a whole bunch of patterns I could paint in. And I'm going to go down here to the one I just created. If I hover long enough, it will say Water. That's what I named it. So I'm going to click on Water, activate that, and then when I come out here, my brush size, I like the brush size I have is at 40, you may have to adjust yours. And then I'm just going to paint over the area of the wave. And it's just going to use that pattern that we created earlier. And I'm going to work my way all the way across here. And pretty soon the boat is going to disappear. And there goes the boat. Just like that. And so that is the pattern stamp tool. And lastly, you'll notice up here there's a layer that's not visible. If you turn it on, it will say Crew, like this. And what I'd like you to do for your finishing touch is I like the word Team up above here on top of the first boat, so it'll read Team Crew when you're done. Suggestion for that uh, would be uh, follow what they did in this one. See what kind of effects they have. Drop Shadow, it looks like. But I believe there's some opacity involved in this one. If you can get that to happen, you'd be great. This is Lesson 7A from Photoshop, Lessons in a Book. In this lesson, we'll be talking about the Clone Stamp tool. And hopefully you've got the right photograph open. Notice there's a torn corner on this one. Uh, this particular file uh, we've located uh, temporarily in the shared drive, Photoshop, Lessons in a Book. And this is uh, Lesson 7. Usually, we come over here to the background area. 
I'm uh, using the black arrow tool. We always duplicate that, drop it down and duplicate it just in case there's a problem, and blind the bottom layer. Now you'll notice this photo is missing a corner. Really not too much to do with this one uh, except use this new clone stamp tool. And what it does is we'll take some of this water from this area right here and we'll transfer it over into this zone right here where there's no photograph. Not really that hard to do. Uh, select your clone stamp tool. It's this uh, fifth one down, first column. You'll point at that. And then you'll position your cursor out here wherever you, you like it. You can also increase or decrease the size of your circle by going up to your brush size if you want to, making that bigger or smaller depending on what you need. And so I'm going to position it over here. And really all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the Alt key. Notice that I get a different circle when I do that. It's got a little cross here in it. And it's going to sample this area. So I click that area. I let up on the Alt key. Now nothing appeared to happen, but it's taking this a picture of this. Now I'm going to go over to this area where there's no photo. I'm going to click down with my mouse. And notice the uh, where I originally got my sample, there's a plus there. And what it's doing is it's taking that water from the plus and it's... Uh, putting it over where the brush is on the lower left hand corner. As I go back and forth this is what happens. And just like and you'll notice a little bit of blue is coming in. That's the paddle. And see how this happens like this. Now if I want to get rid of this blue area right here I'd resample by going Alt and then coming over here and getting rid of that. Now let's just say that I wanted two of these two of these uh, boats. Well, I would take a sample of this person right here by holding the Alt key down, click on that, and then down below, I would go like this. And all of a sudden, I would have two boats identical in nature, and it could be a boat race. So that's kind of a nice little feature about the clone stamp tool. You can do lots of entertaining things with that. Clone Step Tool Part A.